prepared to move right into our message today. As you all to just continue to pray for me as I move forward in the Lord. Amen. 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 I want to ask those that have Bibles to turn with us today to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. When you get it, can you acknowledge it by standing to your feet, please? 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. If you got it, say amen. 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 If you don't, say hold on. Hold on. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. In your reading, when you get an opportunity, begin to read verse 12 of that chapter a little later and read down to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 4. But for time's sake, for right now, we want to look at 1 Corinthians 2, 14. <clears throat> if you don't mind, can you read that verse to me? Let's read. But, but the, the natural, natural man receives not the things, things of the Spirit of God, God for, for they, they are, are foolishness, foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Verse 14. Because they are spiritually discerned. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor this question. Say, neighbor, neighbor, how does God see you? How does God see you? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, how does God see you? How does God see you? Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. Precious Lord, we thank you again for this opportunity. I pray that you touch these on lips of clay. But most of all, Lord, I pray that you touch my heart, my mind, my soul. Give me strength, Lord God, to proclaim your word, Lord God. Help me to be all that you have called me to be. Yeah. And I'll be careful to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Yeah. In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 How does God see me? Disunity is a terrible problem. One of the most dangerous and uh, problems existing in the world today. Disunity can lead to anger, fights, divorce, murder, and wars. But one of the answers to solving disunity is to see ourselves as God see us. When God look at us, what does he see? You ever thought about that? When God look at me, what does he see? Not only that, when God look at me, is he pleased with what he see? With the help of the Holy Spirit, I want to do something. God look at us, I believe, one of three ways. He look at us as a natural man. He look at us as a spiritual man, and he may look at us as a carnal man. Well, all three of those are addressed in First Corinthians chapter two, through First Corinthians chapter three, one through four. Mm -hmm. Well, the help of the Holy Spirit, I probably I'm going to just touch on the first one today, the natural man, verse fourteen. But in verse 15 and 16, he speaks of the spiritual man. Mm -hmm. Then in verse, in chapter 3, verse 1 through 4, he speaks of the carnal man. Mm -hmm. So that gives me, to help me to see something here that God looks at us differently than we look at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, well. God sees things that we cannot see. Not only that, God knows things that a lot of us don't even know, amen? Amen. But, but as I began to look at this, and I began to look at, first of all, the carnal man, the carnal man, I mean the natural man. 
the natural man. The word natural means a man who has physical life or who is living. The root word for natural man is soul, mm. which simply means the life of a man, the consciousness, the breath, the energy, the beam of a man. The soul is the animal life of a man. Mm. Mm. The animal life of a man. Mm -hmm. Men and animal are breathing and conscious beings. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Just work with me. Just, just bear with me a few minutes. See, the natural man is formed in the Adam spirit. Mm -hmm. All right now. Amen. Amen. Adam was shaped from the dust of the ground. Amen. 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 And once Adam was shaped from the dust of the ground, God then in turn breathed life, life into Adam. Amen. Without the breath of life in man, man is no more than dust. Amen. Amen? Amen. We are amount, we will amount to nothing Amen. if we don't have God on our side. Amen. Man who has fallen from the perfection of his creation. The natural man is the fallen, depraved man, the sinful and corrupt man, the aging and deteriorating man. Mm -hmm. The body. Mm -hmm. This is what we see, this flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say a lot of times, and, and, and when, I, when I talk to families that have lost a loved one, I try to help them understand that shell that you see laying Man. in that mm -hmm. casket is not, not that, person that person any longer. Amen. Amen? Amen. Because God has come along and withdrew his spirit from that corpse. Amen. And that corpse is simply going to return to the dust of that ground. Amen? Amen. The natural man, the natural man, the natural man, the natural man, something we need to know about the natural man here. The natural man does not receive the things of the spirit of God. Look at verse 14 again. Amen. What does verse 14 say? But, but, but the natural man receives receive what? Not the things of the Spirit of God. Why? For they are foolishness unto him. See, stop right there. The natural man, the, the man, the saying the man that don't know God as their personal Savior. Amen. When I say man, that's inclusive. That's all individuals, individual. male, female, yeah. that don't know the Lord as their personal, personal Savior. Savior. They are considered as a natural man. Natural man. Mm -hmm. And all the time when you talk, you got to understand something today, church. When you talk to a natural man, they may look at you like you're crazy when you're talking about the things of God. God. Mm -hmm. When you talk to them about salvation, mm -hmm. when you talk to them about healing, mm -hmm. when you talk to them about deliverance, well, when you talk to them about God making a way out of no way, well, when you talk to them about how God rescued you when you was in a wreck and you know you should have been dead and gone, but yet God allowed you to live yeah. just a little while longer. Oh, the natural man can't understand no that. Amen. Yeah. They look Amen. at you like you crazy. Mm -hmm. Because the natural man don't understand the things Thank of the no Spirit. God. Amen? The, of God. the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit, spirit of God. Of God. The phase received not means that, that spiritual things are not welcome as a guest. Yes. Well. See, to the natural man, mm -hmm. he does not even welcome the spiritual things. things. A natural man, a man that don't know the Lord as their personal savior, have no feel, feel, figure like, feel like they have no use for spiritual things. Mm -hmm. We need to understand that, and, it, 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 and I want to say this to the Christian, to the believer, it's time out for you getting upset no, with a amen. person when you go talk to them about the Lord, and they seem to just shove you off shove and push you, you off and, and don't want to receive what you're saying. Amen. You don't have any reason to get upset. Amen. Because Come you on. need to know that Jesus. you do, long as you're doing what God has called you to do, 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. You tell what God is saying to say. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. And don't worry about it. See, the problem with a lot of times as believers, we think that we must, as I said on mm -hmm. numerous occasions, See. that we must do the work of God. We think at once we tell them that we got to get a response. Mm. But you need to understand something. You will not always get a response, especially from the natural man. man. Because right away, he may not comprehend what you're talking about. Amen. And that thing may need to, need to just marinate a while. Well, come on now. Y'all know what I'm talking about, marinate. Mm -hmm. You know, for those that cook, mm -hmm. I know every now and then when, when, when I used marinate. to grill, now the boys have taken over. Every now and then used to take the meat and, and I put it, you know, put it in a little little something and, and sit it in the refrigerator for a little while and let that meat marinate mm -hmm. so it can capture all the flavor. See, and that's what has to happen sometimes with the natural man. When we are spiritual individuals, when we share the goodness of God and all that he's done for us, sometimes it may be overwhelming to them, and they can't catch it all. Well, You on. just give it and let it let marinate. It God. And that stuff going to get in there, and eventually they're they going to they gonna receive. Amen. The natural Amen. man, the natural man, the natural man does not welcome... Mm. spiritual things or not accepted. It means to refuse, to reject mm. spiritual things of a little of any concern to the natural man. Mm. Have you noticed people that you talk to sometimes? They don't even, you know, when you try to talk to them about get, accepting the Lord, mm -hmm. it seems like they don't even want to hear what you got to say. It seems like they don't have time for you. They don't have time to hear anything about God. But let me tell you what happens a lot of time with the natural man. Well, a lot of time with the natural man, he may not may not act like he want to hear anything about God. But you know what I notice about a lot of them? And especially those that call themselves atheists. The amazing thing I've learned down through my years of studying the word of God and dealing with folks is I wonder why if they don't believe, believe in God, why is it when they start going through stuff, mm -hmm. they say, Lord, have mercy? Mm -hmm. What Lord are they talking to? Mm -hmm. Why is it that when they don't, they say they don't understand, they don't, they, they don't believe in God? Why is it when they're going through hell in their life, they find they, they search out for a believer and say, Can you pray for me? Mm -hmm. Well, what you want me to pray for? Mm -hmm. Who you want me to pray to? Mm -hmm. You say you don't believe in my God. So what do you need me to pray for? But I'm not telling us not to pray now. Don't get no, don't get no, it wrong. No, no. But I'm just I'm just I'm just telling you something. You see, see the natural man. The natural man cannot comprehend Amen. the things Amen. of the spirit. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he does not receive the things Amen. of the spirit of God. God. Amen. I think in I want to do this right quickly. I'm, that's right, Deacon. Y'all grab your Bibles. <laughs> I, I need Romans eight and seven. All right. Deacon Tillman and then Romans. Deacon Hamo. I need Ephesians four seventeen. You got your word, uh, Brother Kelly. I need Colossians one twenty one. Colossians one twenty one. Mm -hmm. Start off. Come on, talk to me, Deacon Tillman. Tell me where you're coming from. I'm coming from Romans eight and seven. Y'all hear the word. Hear the word. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Stop right there. The carnal mind in man. Mm -hmm. That man that don't know the Lord as his personal Savior. Or that man that, 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 that's more concerned about the things of the world. Mm -hmm. He's more, he or she is more interested in getting stuff mm -hmm. than developing a relationship with God. Amen. What does it say about him, D? For it is not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. See, the natural man is not subject to the law of God. The natural man does not understand the law of God. Mm -hmm. The natural man will not obey the, the law, law of God. God. That is left up to the believers mm -hmm. to obey the word, word of God. God. Amen. So stop trying to force your, your opinion. opinion. Stop trying to force your will on the natural man because the natural man will not comprehend. See, it takes the Holy Spirit to Amen. intervene into that person's Amen. life and help them Amen. to understand. Amen. Right. Amen. So again, you need to stop being offended when somebody you talk to about the Lord and they don't accept what you got to say. Mm -hmm. God says, you tell it. You tell it, amen. 
you do the lifting, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'll do the drawing. The drawing. Amen. 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 And I think over there, over somewhere, over them, one of them Corinthians, mm -hmm. one of them Corinthians, <laughs> Paul said, mm -hmm. one planet, one planet, one water, one water. But who give the increase? God gives. See, the that's increase. what you need to understand. Stop worrying about. It. And I'm gonna tell you something. I used to be that way well, a long time ago when I first started off in my preaching journey. Yeah. Well, back in Warner Robins, Georgia, I used to say, God, what in the world? Well, wait a minute, God, am I before my time or something? Mm -hmm. Because I was teaching the word of God, the pastor had given me the new members training class, and he allowed me to be over to, to implement a counseling uh, thing for the church. And I began to teach the new members training class, and I began to, 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 to bring in some of the people in the body, of, in the church, and we, we developed a counseling department for the church. Mm -hmm. But as I began to do that, I, I, I started looking at self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Seth started to saying, well, Richard, you know what? These folks ain't, ain't they mm -hmm. don't hear you. Mm -hmm. we, I, Richard, you know what? All this you talking about, mm -hmm. all this teaching you doing, man, all this research you trying to do to help you, you don't see no results, do you? Mm -hmm. And for a minute, mm -hmm. I got caught up in that That's self. Mm -hmm. And I began to get discouraged. Mm -hmm. And I began to say, well, you know what? I started to go to my pastor and say, well, pastor, you know what? I, 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 don't, I don't think this is what God has called me to do. But he said something to me one day without me even, even embracing that. He said, son, that's all he said, son. Let me tell you something, son. Whenever God gives you a work, mm -hmm. know that there's going to be a challenge, challenge in that work. Well, know that everybody on. ain't going to receive it from you right away, right son. Away. But you got to keep pressing. Mm -hmm. You got to keep toiling. And that's what we need to understand today. Even in the midst of us trying to talk to the natural man, don't quit. Don't give up. You just let God do what God do, and you do what he tell you to do. Amen. Amen. Anybody hear me today? Amen. Talk to me, Deacon Haymore. Tell me where you're coming from. Ephesians 4 and 17. Uh huh. Let me read thusly. This I say, therefore, uh -huh. and testify in the Lord. In the Lord. That ye henceforth walk not as others Gentiles mm. in the vanity of their mind. And that's common. They will continue. Go ahead. <laughs> Having the understanding darkened, mm -hmm. being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Mm. Because of the blindness of their heart. There you go. That's good. Let's stop right there, friend. Mm -hmm. See, the calm-minded man cannot comprehend the things of the, the spirit. Things of the spirit. Right. Amen. The natural man cannot comprehend spiritual things. Mm -hmm. But see, the problem here also is that sometimes it seems like the spiritual man can't comprehend. Well. And the reason, I, I'm, I don't want to get too far ahead of mm -hmm. myself. And the reason for that is because a lot of times we who are spiritual don't apply ourselves Self. to the word of well, God. Well, come on right? now. We who are spiritual don't take the time yeah. to get into yeah. the word of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. To get a, a foundation so we can help those that are natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Amen? Talk to me, Brother Kelly. Where you coming from? Colossians 1, 21. Uh-huh. And you that were sometimes alienated hey. and enemies in your mind by wicked works, mm. yet now hath he reconciled. See, you hear what he tell, Paul, you, he's telling us, he's talking about, and you, you. Mm -hmm. Roy. Roy Tillman, mm -hmm. Rodney Haymore, mm -hmm. Kelly Browner, mm -hmm. Tony Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Amen. Richard Spann. No, don't don't put me in there. <laughs> yeah, including me. Amen. But see, this is my time. Amen. But see, he said that, and you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind. Amen. By wicked works. Wicked works. Yet now has he been reconciled. reconciled. I've been reconciled. Amen. I've been reconciled. I used to be Pray. an enemy of the Amen. cross. Amen. Come on now. Some of us in here used to be an enemy Amen. of the cross. Amen. We didn't accept what the word of God Amen. had to say. Amen. That was a natural Amen. man. We tall and tossed and fought Thank against you, the word of the Lord. But now that I've been reconciled, reconcile me that I've been brought, brought back. back. Yeah. Amen. Anybody been Thank brought back Lord. today? Thank Anybody you. been made whole? today? Anybody Lord. been set free today? That's what I'm talking about. Thank we as a spiritual man need to begin to let the natural man know that know there is hope. Yeah. Amen. Yes, mm. 
the natural man consider the things of God as foolishness. Mm -hmm. The word foolishness here means they are dull, distasteful. Mm -hmm. Remember the natural man lives primary for the animal part of his nature. Amen. Well. Good God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He lives primary for what, what? looks good, mm -hmm. what feels good, mm -hmm. what tastes good, and showing up what sounds good. Yeah. That's the natural man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We live for the nat they live for the natural nice. thing, which some of us, which all of us was there one the time. Amen. And it's oh, only by the, the grace, grace of, of God, God that we are not there anymore. Amen. Thank you, Lord. See, that was the shouting point. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. It's let me say it again. Hallelujah. It's only by the, the grace of God, God that we are not there any longer. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. For delivery. Thank you for delivery. Amen. See, because see the natural man again, mm -hmm. and some of us mm -hmm. can remember this. Mm -hmm. Only thing we was concerned about how it looked, mm -hmm. how it felt, mm -hmm. how it tastes, well, and showing up what it sounded like. Sound well. Amen. And we got caught up in that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not worried about what it did to us yeah. or what it's going to do for us. Right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Was it any good at all mm. to help us be a better person? Better person. Right. We wouldn't concede the natural man is not worried about that. No. He lives primarily for his animal senses. Yes. Primarily for what turns him on. Oh, Jesus. Mm. It may be a position. Mm. It may be money. Well. It may be wealth. Mm. It may be possession, yes. recognition, mm. fame, influence, power, uh, family, mm. house, car, sex, food, dress, popularity, and an endless number of worldly, worldly things. things. Amen. 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 All of that is worldly stuff. Word. Yes, it is. That's what the natural man lives for. Amen. 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 The man who gives into these instincts and urges is the person who lives as the natural man. Well. To him the things of God are secondary mm -hmm. or less important. Amen. And I want you to understand something today, church family. We who are believers, mm -hmm. we need to be careful that we don't get caught up and yeah. being more concerned about worldly stuff yeah. than God things. Amen. 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 I think the word of God said that is, is it um Matthew six thirty three. Mm -hmm. Amen. What it say? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Uh huh. It's right. And what's gonna happen? And all these things shall be added unto you. So you know that verse is simply saying to us as believers, get our priorities straight. Put God first. Amen. Get our priorities. Straight. If we place the kingdom of God and the things of God first, first. in our lives, everything else will fall, fall in, in place. place. Amen. 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 Anybody know what I'm talking Amen. about today? Has anybody Amen. walked that path where you used to go after stuff first? You were worried about a promotion. You were worried about more money. You were worried about folks recognizing who you are and you were trying to develop a name. But once you knew the name of Jesus and he touched you and he changed you and he turned around and turned you around and set your feet on the solid ground, yeah. you no longer worry about that kind of stuff Amen. because you know he got you back. Amen. Amen. How, 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 how does God see me? Mm -hmm. My God. Therefore, to his mind, it is, the uh, to his mind, biblical and Christian things are ultimately foolish to put spiritual things. It is ultimately foolish to him to place God first. Mm. 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 Give me 1 Corinthians 1 27. 1 Corinthians 1 27. I'm almost there with the natural man. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 verse 27. 27. But God has chosen the foolish things Here we go. Of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. You know what they call preaching? Foolishness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why in the world would somebody want to stand up there and some of them scream and yell and holler and nah nah, wind suck and, and some of them, you know, asthmatic preachers, wind sucking preachers and all of you know, all the different types of preachers that are out there. Amen? Amen. And some of them are just, can't you see 
what the Word of God has to say to you today, brothers and sisters. <laughs> there are different ones out there, amen? Amen. amen. I, f I guess I fall somewhere in between all of them. Mm. I'm not quite, be I'm not quite got to asthmatic or wind sucking, <laughs> but I am gonna give you the word of God. Amen. Come out, there how you it come out? It come out. Come Amen. Out. Amen. But you know, to the world, those that don't know the Lord as their personal Savior, they will say to you, "Why you go to church and listen to that mm -hmm. man scream at you?" Why you go to church and listen mm -hmm. to them folks? What you get out of going to church? That's just foolishness. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever heard that before? Oh, heard it. See, to the carnal minded man, according to 1 Corinthians 1 27, mm -hmm. give it to me one more time, preacher. 1 Corinthians 1 27, one more time. Mm -hmm. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to to confound the things which are oh, mighty. Right. And you know what he's saying there? He's saying, you know what? If I made it too simple, mm -hmm. man would think that he did it. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Y'all didn't get that, did you? Come on now. So Amen. the reason that it's confusing Amen. to some people mm -hmm. is because they don't comprehend Amen. spiritual Amen. things. Uh -huh. A common mind and man cannot understand Amen. the things Amen. of the spirit. Amen. Amen. A natural man of the world can't comprehend spiritual things. Mm -hmm. Can't comprehend why you want to go to church. church. Can't well. comprehend why you would tithe. Mm -hmm. right. Can't comprehend why you would give mm -hmm. money to the church and you feel like, and it seems like you not you don't have enough to make in me. Mm -hmm. Well. But see, I'm reminding and I keep encouraging people from this perspective. God said, bring your tithing and your offering in the storehouse that, that, that there may be meat in my house. Yeah. And prove me this day. Yeah. Said anybody that improve the Lord? Amen. Let me see a wave off Amen. of him, those that improve the Lord. Amen. Did he let you down? No. The God that I serve will not Amen. fail you. Amen. You just got to trust him mm -hmm. and lean on him Amen. and stand on his word. Yeah. Don't worry about what other folks Amen. say. Just continue to march. Yeah. 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 My God. And the third point we need to understand is that I say to you, the natural man consider the things of God as foolishness. And the third point, the natural man cannot know spiritual things. He can't. He won't comprehend it. It's just stupid to him. I told them on numerous cases, and I've had plenty of people come to me and say, man, what's all that preaching for? What you doing that for? Anybody getting anything out of it? Come on, I, I, I just don't, I don't understand why you preach. Well. See, you don't need to. You don't, don't need to understand a lot of things. I personally don't understand. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it's a lot of things I don't personally understand when it comes to my spiritual walk. But you know, I'm just foolish enough to take Believe God at His God. word. Amen. Amen. I'm Amen. foolish enough to, to have faith in Him. Mm -hmm. I'm foolish enough to do that. Do what, wrong, what I think. Well, Hebrews uh, 11 and 1. Mm -hmm. And Hebrews. Somebody get Hebrews 11 and 6 for me. Amen. 11 and 6. Mm -hmm. it's, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's, it's virtually at no way, Amen. no how. Amen. Who got it? I want, I want it read. Hebrews 11 and, 11 and 6. 6. You got Amen. it? Amen. Come on, talk to me, D. Amen. Hebrews 11 and 6. Uh-huh. But without faith. Without who? Without, without faith. faith. Okay, okay. It is impossible to please him. Uh-huh. What else happened? For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I don't understand everything there is to understand about God. I don't understand all his ways. I don't understand why he allows certain things to happen in the earth today. Amen. I don't even understand why he allowed death. Mm. I don't understand why he allowed sickness. Now, I'm not, hear what I'm saying. I didn't mm. say why he did it. I said no. allow it. Allow it. Right. Amen. Right. Allow. See, y'all need y'all didn't allow. catch that, did you? Allow. There's a difference in doing something and allowing allow something that, to, happen. to happen. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. 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 See, but but the God that I serve. In my mind, my, my, my feeble mind, I don't comprehend, mm -hmm. but I'm foolish enough to believe in him. Yeah. Amen. Because he has never let me down. Amen. He's never failed me. Mm -hmm. Then if you go back to Hebrew 11 and 1, mm -hmm. talk to him and more. Amen. What does it say, D? 11 and 1. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Now faith, faith. faith is the substance of things hoped. Stop. Woo, woo, woo. It may not, may not, may not be able to see it. 
the substance. See, when you think about substance, you all automatically think about something Stuff. tangible, mm -hmm. don't you? Yeah, yeah. When you think about substance. Mm -hmm. But he says, now faith, see, the, the, the tangible thing is faith. Faith. Mm -hmm. oh, y'all didn't yeah, get yeah. that. Amen. No, no y'all didn't Come get on, that. Man. See, the tangible thing faith is, is faith. Faith. Yeah. faith. Amen? Yeah. Now faith, faith. Is, is that is. thing that you need to worry, work. work on. Mm -hmm. Talk to me, D. Yeah. I knew you want to start over again. Now, faith <laughs> is the such as the things hoped for, and, and the evidence of things not, not seen. Not yeah. Amen. Amen. Good God of mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, there we go again with the Richard being foolish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see him, <coughs> but yet I believed it. Mm -hmm. right. Don't know how it's going to happen, I believe it. but yet I believed I it. Believe yeah. it. Didn't know how some things were gonna transpire for us, for Sister Spade and myself, and some things that we going we were trying to do. Mm -hmm. But I kept trusting God. Trusting God. Right I kept saying, Lord, it's in your hands. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He keep on Amen. proving himself to me Amen. over and over again. Amen. But if I was in the natural perspective, yeah. I couldn't comprehend. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to trust him. Yeah. 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 Mm -mm -mm. The natural man, the natural man. How does God see me? Mm -hmm. Why can the natural man not know spiritual things? Very simply, because they are spiritually discerned. The word discern means investigate it, judge, scrutinize, examine, estimate it. Spiritual things have to be discerned by a living spirit, not by a natural man. Amen. Not by a man who is primarily living by his animal nature. Mm. Spiritual things can be discerned only by a spirit that is living. Amen. Amen. And the spirit of God is live. Live. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yeah. That's what, what y'all just got to do. I Amen. feel the spirit. Yeah, all all over. over. All over me. Amen. Where that in my hand, in my what? In my soul. Soul, soul down, down in my feet. I feel the spirit all, all, over. all over me. Yeah. See, that's what sometimes I can be sitting at my house in my office well, and I feel come on the spirit all, right. all, all right over now. me. And sometimes I wonder what in the world what is going on here. <laughs> but I just let go let and, go and let, let God. Go. I just holler down there in my office by myself. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Have a good time. Thank you. Amen. For your goodness. Mm -hmm. Have a good time. Can be struggling with something mm -hmm. in my mind. Well. And the Holy Spirit will speak to my heart. And he'll give me peace. Mm -hmm. Which passes all understanding. Amen. Don't understand it. But I know that he's got my back. Amen. That's what I want you to understand. See the natural man. The natural man. The natural man can't understand. He can't comprehend the things of the spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. But, 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 but we who the spiritual things can be investigated only by the living spirit, judged only by the living spirit, mm. examined only by the living, living spirit, spirit, estimated and evaluated Amen. only by, by the Holy, Holy spirit. spirit. Amen. St. Matthew, Mental Grade 623. Mm. St. Matthew 623. Mm -hmm. I'm about to leave you, almost about to leave you alone. St. Matthew 6, 23. Hmm. But if thine eye be evil, mm -hmm. thy whole body oh, shall be full of darkness. Oh. If therefore the light is in, in thee be darkness, how great, how is, great that darkness? is that darkness? Mm -hmm. Read it one more again. <laughs> but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Mm -hmm. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? If the spirit that's within you is darkness, mm -hmm. you will only see negative stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You will only see you can only you only see people from one perspective. Mm -hmm. Right. All you won't be able to see is the bad of the out of Amen. You sometimes you will never be able to comprehend anything that good from another person. Because and you don't even look for anything good. Amen. You're only open to negative stuff. And that's what we have to be careful of as believers that we don't hang around folks. That always bad mouthing the church, yeah. bad mouthing yeah. God. Oh, we need to, we need to get around from around all Amen. that foolishness. Amen. 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 Mm, 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 mm. Romans ten and three says this. 
for they being ignorant of God's righteousness mm. and are going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Amen. Let me say it again. For they being ignorant of God righteousness. In other words, the natural man only think about himself and nobody else. And that's what the scripture is talking about here. Then he tells us again in, in, in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, he says that in whom the God of now, uh, 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 wait a minute. I need somebody to dig tell me. Or some dig and hamel somebody. All right. Get me 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Y'all need to see that. Everybody can get the Bible, get the Bible. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to see this. All right now. 2 Corinthians 4, 4 and 4. 4. Yes. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4, huh? A good one? 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. Mm -hmm. Everybody there? Yeah, when, you, when, you, when you get there, just throw up a hand. Get, Amen. Give me a wave off. I want, I, want, I want you to be there. I want you to be, because I want you to see this. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians, I think I said 4 and 4, didn't I? 4 and 4, that's it. Uh-huh. It's right there, Pastor. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. 4 and 4. Everybody there? Amen. All right, I, I saw a whole lot of wave offering. Talk to me, D. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Stop. The God of this world is Satan. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We need to understand that. Yeah. Amen. Satan is a ruler of this world. Yeah. But let me help you understand something. He can only rule as far as God allow him to rule. Amen. Right. Yes, can I make that clear? Allow. He has no authority over us as believers. Amen. Amen. No more authority than what we are allowed allow. to have. Yes, sir. He, he has to get the permission in order to mess with us. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. And let me tell you what happened a lot of time is that because of the lifestyle that we live mm -hmm. as quote believers, we open ourselves Sales up to up attack. To attack. Uh -huh. Talk to me, D. Let me, let me, let me. I, I got to get out of here. Come on. Come Lest on. The, uh, the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, mm -hmm. who is the image of God, should shine unto them. See, the natural man mm -hmm. is ignorant mm -hmm. to the things of the word of God, from the word of God. Mm -hmm. And Satan will continually to try to blind, mm -hmm. the, blind them and keep them from truth. Mm -hmm. And I think the word of God says something like this. If our gospel be hid, it is hid to those that are lost. Oh, okay, I, 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 I'm, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Give me verse three then. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to leave y'all alone, but maybe I started something. Yeah, I didn't know verse. Yeah. Verse three. Okay. Tag team, D. But if our gospel be hid, uh -huh. it is hid to them that are lost. Now bring verse four in with it. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God. Now, shall shine. verse 3 says, if the gospel is hid, mm -hmm. one who is hid to who? The, the lost. Those that now, are who, lost. Have, who have the gospel? Mm -hmm. the the believers. See, there we go. The believers, we mm -hmm. have the word. Right. Mm -hmm. But if we sit down on our can't do Whoa, it, don't do it. come on now. If we sit down and don't share yeah, our faith, faith. Uh -huh. if we sit down and say, oh, God, understand, uh -huh. he'll make it all right, when he's already given you the ability to, to make it all right. Yeah. Yeah. See, you need to sometimes quit praying and put hand and foot to pray. All right now. Amen. And get up oh. off your cake cake and start doing doing Come for on. the Lord. Lord. Amen. He is telling us if the gospel is here, it is here to those that are lost. Yeah. Because the, the God of this world, mm -hmm. Satan, has blinded people. But look at that latter part of verse 4. Mm -hmm. He says, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Mm -hmm. Less. Mm -hmm. Y'all catch that? Less. The righteousness, mm -hmm. the oh, light right. of, the, of the glorious gospel. gospel. See, that's where right. we are right there. Mm -hmm. We ought to be Amen. sharing the glorious gospel. Amen. We ought to tell somebody about the goodness of God. Amen. We ought to tell somebody yeah. that God is able. Amen. We ought to tell somebody that God can make a way out Amen. of nowhere. We ought to tell 
somebody, God, you was lost, but now you are found. You were blind, but now you can see. You ought to let somebody know about his grace and his mercy. mercy. Amen. 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 That's what he's talking about here. Amen. And unless the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is an image of God, should shine unto them. That's the word. That's the word. Oh, yes. See, the word will illuminate our hearts and our minds. Yes, it will. And that's what you need to understand today. If we don't tell them, who will? Mm -hmm. Therefore I say, surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of the Lord, nor the judgment of their God. Mm -hmm. The natural man mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. comprehend the things of the spiritual of man. God. Uh -huh. Of the spirit, amen? amen. And so we need to be aware of that. When we are dealing with people that don't know the Lord, you just keep telling them the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not trying to make them believe or make them accept what you say. You just present it. Amen. And let God do the rest. Amen. 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 So my question as I sit down, how? Does God see you? Mm -hmm. Are you a natural man? Mm -hmm. Within the coming weeks, if the Lord is willing, we're going to give you the other two. Amen? Amen. Amen? But ask yourself this question. How does God really see me? God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.